Hello and welcome to ERPWebTutor.com. This is Oridip, and this is going to be the last video tutorial session for our SSHR. And uh, in the previous videos, we have created the AME rules and we have also uh, checked that the AME rules are working fine. While doing so, we actually uh, so logged in as a manager and performed the change job function on an employee and in the same way did the, the termination function on another employee. Now, while doing the change job function, we saw that uh, we could see all the assignment related information for that employee. And of course, we only want uh, uh, information about the job and not the other assignment uh, information on the screen. So we are going to achieve that by personalizing the page by um, uh, making the other fields um, uh, not displayed or invisible uh, on the browser so that the manager can only view what he wants and not uh, all the other information. So for doing that, let's log in as the manager. And uh, if you notice something here, once we will log in, uh, we will see that and there is this link, which is the personalized page. Uh, that link has been enabled for the for this user and because we have uh, set a profile called the personalized self-service definition so that's a system profile that we have enabled or set to yes for this user so once we do that uh, you would see this link and if you do not see it right away just um, ask your DBAs to bounce a Apache server or you can just you know clear the cache from your functional administrator responsibility. Uh, we have a separate note on you know, personalization or you know, the, what you need to do for, uh, uh, to en uh, enable this link on the page uh, on the section called the uh, how to or the uh, OA personalization basics or the OA personalization hands-on on our website. Uh, you can take a look at the video and the document there. Uh, so for the time being, all we need to know, need to know is that we have this profile uh, personalized self-service definition uh, turned on or set to yes for this user. And that's the reason why we see this link and we will use this link to personalize the look and feel of the page. So let's go to our manager self-service chain job. And again, we'll select this employee. We'll click continue. And what we need to do is we need to hide this department, uh, position, location, grade, etc., etc., all that we are seeing here. So for doing that, we need to do is uh, we will click on uh, this personalized page, and once we click on the personalized page, uh, let's switch the view to complete view. And uh, we have to look for uh, something like the department, and then we have to make that uh, field, you know, not uh, or the render property of that field to false. So uh, I will just show you one, you know, so that you can just you know, try out the rest. So let's, for the time being, do something, uh, you know, for the location. Uh, the other thing, you know, just to simplify this, let's quickly change one more thing that would make our life a lot easier uh, we will log out from here yeah so we will just make things a little simpler we'll just log in as HR setup and we will uh, enable uh, there is another uh, profile option we need to do that so let's quickly enable that so this is a system profile. So with the profile is called something like FNB uh, personalize personal some region link something like that, and we are going to enable this for our HR or for our cane. That's the user, and uh, we will set it to yes. Oops. Yes, and let's save it. And just to make sure that it works, we will clear the cache. We will go to the functional administrator responsibility. 
and the same way we'll just clear the cache core services caching framework global configuration clear all cache yes okay so let's close this and let's log out from this account and let's again try to log back in as arcane and let's see if anything changes there now we can see that a lot of more links there so it just makes it a lot easier to personalize so click on this click on the manager cell service change up click on action again click continue and now you see this you have this individual links for these sections now so i can easily you know identify that this is the region that i'm trying to personalize so i will say personalize department and i will say that you know this uh, personalize and the rendered property should be set to false so let's make it at the slight level you can set it at different levels so we will set to false and or you know what let's do it at our function level so just so let's set it to the function level as false and let's go back and see what's what changed so you can see here that we do not see the department uh, region anymore on the page so that's how we are going to make the page change so that the manager can only see the job portion so let's quickly do the position as well and click on personalize uh, rendered property false apply Uh, if you want to know more about uh, OA personalization, do check the document. If you have uh, some detailed videos uh, on how to do the personalizations, what uh, different kinds of things that you can achieve uh, using personalizing, uh, personalizations. So do take a look at the documents and the videos on our website. And <clears throat> for this one, I mean, now since you know, you know how to do this, so the similar way you can actually uh, personalize all the regions and uh, set the rendered property to false and uh, that way you will be left with the job uh, uh, portion only and so when the managers so they log in as uh, uh, our managers can log in to change uh, uh, using the function change job uh, when they come to this page they are going to see the job or the, the change job or the, the job value of an employee uh, and nothing else so uh, we would not proceed with this uh, our uh, target was to show you how we can make the page uh, uh, more meaningful so and we did that so uh, we would cancel this and uh, we would finish the video at this point and this is the going to be the last video for our self-service implementation uh, we would definitely come up with more useful videos as always on our website so uh, keep checking and uh, I hope that this will help you learn Oracle Apps and I really appreciate your time. Thank you.